Another review here. This one here is for a UTEC Smart 6-in-1 USB-C hub. They asked me if I wanted to review it and it's evident that I like USB hubs, obviously. So you can see here it's got 4K output, uh, USB 3, 3, USB 3 ports, uh, Ethernet, and your power delivery. So pretty straightforward dock. I'm um, going to be perfect for a lot of different uses. These are obviously useful for people who have limited um, ports on their computer. So if you have a MacBook or if you have, you know, Windows Ultrabook or people who use Steam Decks and uh, ROG Allies. Ooh, it's very little. Okay. So uh, USB-C and then we have our power delivery in. So I'll test that out. HDMI out, USB 3 out, 3 USB 3 in, USB USB as well. Oh, and it has a... Uh, actually has uh, ethernet too so i'll need to test that out. i need to go to another room and test that out so um this might be a neat one for people who have um you know a macbook macbooks don't have yet like legacy ports usb i don't know what they call legacy ports because they're still being used for your traveling or you know something like that i don't want to take this like dock this is an actual dock with me it's big this is a large item it's metal it's heavy and sure it supplies all these ports and everything but it's large and you can see here it has the same amount of ports so you get your three usb hdmi power and ethernet but it's a large device look how much smaller this thing is significantly smaller right same port usb a's you have the usb a hdmi power in power delivery but another neat part of this is you can go like this so you can plug in this into your device here you don't need you know you can just use it like this if need be right plug that in there this is an nvme enclosure full like full of games so I'm gonna turn that on plug this in here and there's my nvme right you can see right there. So now I have NVMe storage, four terabytes, and this is a game drive, right? There I have boatloads of games on this drive here. I have uh, 20 Steam games, right? I have or I have GOG games, I have Rockstar games, I have Blizzard games. Um, I have like old retro games that I've installed here. So I mean, I've gone from my internal storage that is limited and very expensive, the SD card that's a little sketchy on the ROG Ally, Four terabyte NVMe costs me less than a two terabyte internal here. It costs me relatively nothing. And I can go like this. And you can play like this. I mean, I can just play the games off of my actual... Uh, I can play the games right off of this. So you can see it's working without power. Obviously, you can see it's working totally fine. Um, no issues there. You can, of course, supply power. So go like this here. Go like this here. Plug this in now. And now I'll get power on my device here. So you can see it's supplying power right away. Supplying power. Right? So now we have power going in. So we have power going into the USB-C, into my actual ROG Ally. What else can we plug in here? Let's plug in some USB ports. Let me just plug stuff in. Somewhere here. I mean, there's, they're all popping up. This is not complicated stuff. And now we'll plug in a display as well. We'll get this thing just really cooking here. You can see there, get it out of the way. So it's working. So there you go. You're getting HDMI display onto your screen. So if you have a MacBook, MacBooks, unless you have a Pro, they don't come with HDMI, which is super annoying. If you're taking your MacBook and using it for a presentation, professional meeting or class presentation, I mean, you're, you're going to need an HDMI. So this works totally fine. You get all your extra ports. MacBooks, again, and a lot of modern Windows laptops as well don't have USB-A. So you're lacking USB-A, legacy ports. A lot of peripherals use USB-A, like my NVMe drive here. Obviously, you know, thumb drives and that kind of thing. So they're not legacy ports. They are still actively in use and extremely important. Plug in this here. Look at the screen up there. And now I have a mouse, right? The ROG Ally is limited over the Steam Deck because the Steam Deck has these cool little touchpads, which are like a mouse. The ROG Ally doesn't have that. So I have my USB hooked up there. I have storage, more storage. I have my NVMe here and I'm using the mouse obviously, right? At the same time. So, I mean, it works, works well. Okay, now I'm down in my basement where the wild things are and I have a ethernet cable. We're gonna plug that in here. So what we'll do is we'll kill the, kill the Wi-Fi to start. So Wi-Fi gone. We will plug in ethernet. Give it a sec because it always takes a sec to recognize what's going on. It's uh, wired in there. Let's get a better angle here. So you can see the Wi-Fi is working. It's working, right? We're getting full bandwidth on that RJ45 Ethernet. They're not cheaping out on that. Um, I was worried. I always worry, you know, with RJ45 Ethernet that they put in, you know, some crappy controller or something. But uh, you can see there, I mean, look at those speeds there. Very fast, very, very fast um, 
Ethernet right there. I have fast Wi-Fi, so I'll get about 400 to 500 on my ROG Ally without any issues, but my coverage isn't perfect. And, um, terrible coverage, you know, maybe they're in an apartment building um, or, you know, throughout their house they don't, and they rely on Ethernet ports. And with this, you're getting full speed. This is a gigabit Ethernet. I have gigabit Ethernet, and that's the speed I get. So perfect. So that works exactly as anticipated. You know, there's something to be said about an easy review that, you know, it's not complicated. This is one of those reviews. This item works exactly as it should. Two USB ports, they work totally fine. Third USB port works totally fine. Power delivery in works totally fine. HDMI out works totally fine. RJ45 Ethernet actually works very good. I was getting gigabit speeds. And the build quality is good. So I like it. It's portable. It works. It's amazing for MacBook users. It's amazing for Ultrabook Windows users. It's exceptionally amazing for people who use, you know, the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally. So I'll put some links in the description if you want to buy it. Not affiliated, so go directly there if you want, you know, on your own route um, and pick it up. But it seems pretty good. I like it.